masterminds that are like building the tunes behind the scenes. On, like I love the music. Like talk to me about you. you know I like I absolutely love it. I've been fortunate enough to see the um, series, so a little bit ahead of the world. So talk to me about the creative approach that the both of you took with you know intermixing the the human aspect, obviously the the mystical like whimsical you know wish type like energy on this series like how do you even start with pulling music together for something like this that's a great question especially for a show like this which has all of those elements yeah i think the, uh, uh, i'll let michael speak to some of the other elements but uh for me one of the most interesting parts was uh, the challenge of scoring music for an anti-hero, yeah. especially a villain. We've all gotten to know and love from WandaVision. Mm -hmm. Her character is really fleshed out yeah. in this series, so it requires a little bit more depth from the music. Absolutely. So, um, it's really just a question of looking beyond just her, uh, her evil deeds that we have all seen in WandaVision and getting to the heart of it. Yeah. 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 I'd say like a big part of that too was um, we found like the typical superhero sound didn't really work for her character or for the coven, and so we really wanted to kind of push the boundary and like subvert that, what yeah. the, you know what you're used to, and kind of doing away some of those tropes and really lean into like the strangeness, and, like the ma dark magic of her. Um, and then of course we like kind of cross different genres as well. So yeah. Trying to fuse that all together with some like memorable themes for characters and different, you know, the trials and stuff like that. And you know, being a part of this Marvel Enterprise and universe, was there like any type of research and cross-reference across other Marvel, you know, movies, films, series done in the past, you know, to come up with your musical concept at all? Yeah, it's like of course, it's coming from the world of WandaVision, so we yeah. you know, got to explore some of that more, but then we also developed it, we got to, you know, it evolves and kind of moves beyond that as well. Yeah, I'll just add, um, very typically in a Marvel show, there's references to other characters in the universe, and I know when I work on a show, I know Michael feels the same way, like we did it in Hawkeye, we, we love to reference other themes from yeah. or other characters from other movies, even from other composers. I will not say whether we did that or not in this mm -hmm. show because I don't want to spoil anything. Yes. And what were some of the challenges space like working on this, um, you know, mini series for the both of you? Like, were there any challenges? Because I feel like we assume, you know, there are like ups and downs with everything that anyone takes on. But were there any challenges and hurdles that you had to overcome? There's challenges on every project. And yeah. And for this one especially, just keeping it all cohesive as it's going yeah. through so many different worlds and, you know, tying it all together. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll also add, in particular, um, the combination of having uh, witches, yeah. especially the central character, having been a villain, and a lot of comedic scenes striking the right balance between something that's more serious or something that's more scary and something that's a little bit funny music that gives permission yeah. for the audience to laugh finding that balance took took a little bit of trial and error all right and before i let you guys go quick fire fun question it cannot be agatha it cannot be wandavision what's your favorite marvel project ever uh, <laughs> you're not you know, that's an easy one for me. Okay. Personally, I'm going to go with Ant-Man. The first Ant-Man movie was my first Marvel project um, and holds a special place in my heart. Okay. I'll say, this is a hard question. I mean, with Guardians of the Galaxy, okay. I think it's, it's just very fun when the first one came out. Very yeah. Very irreverent and sort of, you know, very, I think, unexpected sort of. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, thank you so much, Michael and Chris. It's so nice speaking with you both. Thank you.